Hey everyone, uh, this time I wanted to explain something about uh, NVIDIA drivers crashing with, um, let's see if I can show it this, if this uh, event is still there, I have it open on other screen, don't worry about that, I open it in here, uh, it's collecting this stuff, let me see if I can find it for you, uh, hopefully I will, uh, it should be there we go display if you have this message says uh, in here as you can see and the event ID is um, 4101 uh, it's like that you see the message at the bottom usually that says that um, display driver has stopped working and recovered blah 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 you usually see the pop-up and this happened to me in gaming I recently bought another GTX 680 to put them in SLI I have some videos in the description if you want to check the reviews and performance but anyway I started testing out uh, heavy games such as Crisis 3, Far Cry 3, Tomb Raider 2013 and all of these games after a few minutes they just crashed with this error and you know I was about to use just pull my hairs out and I was just ah oh, what the fuck <laughs> I was like pissed off with it I tried absolutely everything I'm very well aware that uh, these issues might happen even if you have RAM problems so I even swapped out the RAM but I knew it's not RAM anyway but I tried anyway just to you know just to be on the safe side I also tried uh, power supplies I took out um, well I didn't take it out I just disconnected the power supply from the graphics card I used another power supply to power the graphics card and it still gave the same error and well honestly this issue it doesn't really have a solution if you google for it you'll find few somewhat solutions which um, I will show you you should go through them go to the power options in your PC and put it in high performance change plan settings and um, make sure that where is that PCI Express and make sure that this is turned off this might help you it might help you as I'm saying it might help you might not in my case it didn't work in my case the problem was uh, further but anyway it could be a power supply so test out these things and if you if you just can't find what's wrong with it then do what I did I have here MSI afterburner and here is another table uh, that's the side table I will explain shortly uh, there is also another thing in the uh, register editor uh, I don't have it open can't remember where it exactly was anyway that's not important these fixes they don't usually help uh, you can also try to disable the Windows error team but again these are not really fixes if it's on the limit then it might just might just uh, not fix it but just bypass it so anyway uh, MSI afterburner is what I used to detect the problem actually I didn't what I did I tested both cards individually one of them crashed instantly in games maybe one minute into the game boom crash first I thought it's a faulty card well it is so fuck you Nvidia and fuck you again for giving me a fucking faulty card <laughs> but anyway it's uh, somewhat fixable and I have some tools in here first what I did I put the core clock I did I'll just show you what I did I put it like this actually no I did uh, 95 then you press enter and then you apply I'm not gonna apply it now I don't need it I'll just put it back to zero as it was and I tested like that and it worked 10 minutes in the game no crashes nothing works perfectly right and then I started to check the limit that where's the limit I put uh, minus 35 megahertz and it still worked so I was like hmm what's the damn issue then but this is just like a, like not really a fix because if you will put this graphics card into another PC it will still <coughs> poop up so what I did in here I got um, some tools and special thanks to guys who helped me well if they want they can put the names in the description but anyway 
Uh, they recommended me the tools and stuff what uh, might be causing it. I tried upping the voltage, didn't work. It crashed even uh, faster, so this card, as you may uh, know about the hardware, some um, CPUs and graphics cards, they overclock really well. You can overclock them like beyond any limits and they work. If another person tries that, boop, it's gonna crash. So this graphics card, it just doesn't overclock well. And this is a 680 Phantom Edition by Gainward, which is factory overclocked. And I think that's where the problem is. Because basically the graphics card is still a graphics card. They just apply a higher overclock with a better cooler. And that's all they do. Uh, so let's start with GPU Z. It's a free tool. Just google it. Uh, don't mind this Asus ROG in here. Just uh, look for GPU Z. And from here you can see the clock speeds. Uh, this card uh, it says that it should be what it shows in here 1150 the boost clock and that's the base clock right but it's not I was like huh uh, these are both of my cards that's the secondary that's the first card only thing changes is this in here uh, that's some power power saving thingy which I don't really care about really doesn't really matter if it's idle it should show 1.1 but anyway it's not important so what is important I checked both cards identical everything is identical should work wrong well again it is a little bit faulty card but I'm gonna explain what I did with this tool you can grab the firmware that is on the graphics card you press in here and save to a file then it uh, loads the firmware from your graphics card it takes a uh, few seconds let's just give it time okay and then you just save it whatever you want it I'm not gonna save it because I have them in here they're both the same right once you have that you need this kind of thing Kepler Pius tweaker I'm gonna put these tools in the description so uh, feel free to download them they're free tools so you open up this and then you just drag and drop this in here. Uh, before you go any further, make sure you make a copy of the original and put it somewhere safe. Don't touch it. Because if you're going to mess up your graphics card, then that's it. You're never going to get it back. There is no um, reset button on the graphics card. That's a firmware, so be very careful what you're doing with it. Right, and the first thing what I noticed is what the fuck is this in here? Okay, I'm not so familiar with overclocking and stuff, so I'm not sure why is boost limit so high. If it says that the boost clock is 1150 megahertz, why is this this so high? So what I did is um, this. I made it the same. Then you save BIOS as I saved it. Uh, I saved it in here, which is a power edit originally. I tried to edit the power table in here. I tried to increase these a little bit, the voltages, and I tried to increase voltages in here, but it didn't have any effect, it actually crashed instantly, as I mentioned, I tried to increase the voltage, because MSI Afterburner, it just doesn't apply the voltage on some reason, it does nothing. On this table, I had it open on my other monitor, and I monitored it, and the voltage went up to what it says in here, 1.2. Uh, 75000 volts uh, this is idle that's why it's lower voltage it's uh, power saving that's normal but yeah I tried to up these for the second graphics card and it didn't do anything but crashed uh, once it even crashed instantly so higher voltages not good not good and yeah finally this this did it I put the boost limit exactly what the boost clock should be Again, if you if anyone knows what boost limit is, then let me know. It's like some overclock, overclock, <laughs> whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> and as you can see, you can even adjust um, fan speeds. Obviously, you can't go more than 100%. <laughs> if you think that the graphics card idle temperature is too high, you can increase this in here. And once you're done with it, as I said, put this in here and then click Save BIOS as. I'm not going to save it but I have it in here, I will show you real quick if 
I'll open this up and put this in here. I have the clock speed in here. And right, this is just one step, it doesn't do anything, it just saves the file. And then you need a tool called NV Flash. This should be free tool, I'll put it, uh, yeah, it, it's definitely free. I'll put it in the description again, the links where you can download this stuff. And then you need a command for it, because it's a command prompt file. But the best thing you can do is write a, a small bat file, like I have, and just put this in there. You can just copy paste it off me, except that this is your file name. If your file is different name, simply change it in the path file and leave it. This in here, I also explained this. The I means interface, it stands for interface, it chooses interface number 1. But in graphics cards there is 0 and 1, which means 0 is your primary GPU and 1 is your secondary GPU. The way you can find this out is on this one. See, so choose GPU1 and GPU2. So you just have to go manually. GPU2, well, I'd say almost 100% sure that the GPU2 is always below GPU1. I mean, in your computer. If the GPU1 is on the top slot, then the GPU2 should be at the bottom or in the middle. If you have a freeway SLI, it might be GPU1 to free. So obviously, th well not obviously, but usually it goes the same way as they are in the computer. So you need GPU 1 is on the top, but in here it's not called GPU 1 and 2, it starts from 0. So GPU 1 is GPU 0 and GPU 2 is 1. In my case the secondary one is this faulty one, so I wanted to overwrite this. And this just tells the, um, tells the commands to overwrite and flash the firmware and stuff like this. And that's all you do. You just write in this in the path file. Doesn't matter uh, what you call it. Start, begin, blah blah blah, whatever you want. Just double click on it. I'll show you what it brings up. And then you just press Y key and the process will start. I'm not going to do this because... Um, I've already done that. And that's it, that's all you need to do. And after that you reboot your PC and then you go back to MSI Afterburner and monitor the clock speeds and see if it took effect. If you did everything correct it will take effect. But um, these kind of clock speeds I'm telling you they will not work for you because every card is different. Even though the model everything is exactly the same as you can see in my case these 680s are completely different so just have to play around but MSI Afterburn is the, one of the best uh, tools to monitor and apply quick clocks on it you can decrease this and see if it works if you have se similar crashing issues then this is uh, what I would recommend first try to decrease the core clock and memory clock uh, start from the core core clock or actually I will start from everything just put the core and memory clock minus 100 and put the fan speeds check this auto off put it 100% and put like this minus 100 and do same with this minus 100 click apply again I'm not gonna do this uh, click apply go into game or wherever you're crashing and test it out and see how it goes but make sure you're like um, clear testing it, which means just reboot the PC and then apply the clocks and then test. So just just to make sure that uh, no background applications or anything is uh, interfering with it. And if it works, then I would recommend leaving this on zero and playing around with the core clock and seeing where is the limit where it crashes. But, well, it's different. It's different for every car, so... You just have to play around with it and see what works best for you. And in this tool, well, if you don't want to mess around with this, then I think this boost clock and boost limit should be the same. So you should put the boost limit the uh, same as the boost clock and then test. But again, I will first use the MSI Afterburner to just uh, quick test and see if it's stable or not. And if it's stable, just 
use the method I showed you and apply the clock. And this is going to be in the in your graphics card firmware, which means you can't remove it without these tools. If you put it into another PC, it will have the clock speed. You don't need any software to apply anything, so it's done. It's permanent. I hope this uh, this helps you people who are like going crazy over this stupid error. I was so certain that this is NVIDIA. I was cursing the NVIDIA drivers to hell. But looks like it wasn't. Well still, stupid NVIDIA can put their them clocks on. <laughs> well actually it was Gainward that uh, released this card so it's stupid Gainward. And actually my primary graphics card is not that stable too. It has crashed maybe like two or three times but it's nothing big so. But yeah, I hope this helps and if you have any questions just leave a comment and I'll see you next time.